Hey guys, all right, what we're doing today, we're doing an ab circuit, all right? You want some abs, you've got to train them. Okay, you, I'm sure you've all heard the sayings, abs are made in the kitchen. Yes, you do need a diet to lose the fat to actually see the abs. But what happens if you actually diet down, you lose the fat and there's no abs there, okay? Because they haven't been trained. So you don't want that, all right? You want to train them up, get them thicker, get them bigger, then stick to your diet, obviously, but then you're gonna diet down, you're gonna have some nice, big, thick abs there, all right? Now, what I want you to be doing is every single morning, I want you to wake up, first thing, lie down on the floor, smash this out. You can do this home workout routine, all right? So as soon as you get out of bed, straight onto the floor, okay? First thing to start off your day. Fasted abs, okay? So that means doing abs first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Why? You're gonna get a lot better contraction because you're not gonna be bloated, you're not gonna have any food in the gut, okay? So you're gonna get a lot better contraction, you're gonna be feeling the squeeze and getting a much better burn in the abs, all right? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quick circuit now, all right? So we've got three exercises. We're gonna do normal crunches, we're gonna do leg raises, and we're gonna finish off with a little plank, okay? All right, so we're gonna show you quickly. We're gonna start with the crunch. Now, what a lot of people do, right, is gonna use their hands and they're gonna be swinging their body up like this, okay? Now, that's just using a lot of momentum, okay? Sure, again, remember with all exercises, it's not about getting the number up, it's about what you're actually feeling, all right? So what I want you to do is put your hands forward instead. Take the hands out of it, take the swing out of it, okay? Put your hands forward, okay? Focus on the squeezing, come up, squeeze, and down. See, it's a lot more controlled and it's a lot slower, right? And I'm definitely feeling my abs a lot more, even one rep. Slowly up, squeeze, and down. Okay, breathing out as well, okay? I want you to breathe out on the way up. What happens is, you breathe out all the air, you're gonna get a little bit of contraction. Squeeze it up. All right. Couple reps control like that, I'm already really feeling it, okay? So good, 10 of those, lie down, okay? Legs straight, I want you to keep your hands, just place them right just under your bum, okay? Just slightly under your bum, just to get a little bit of stability there, okay? Legs straight, all right? What we're gonna do is some leg raises now. So again, same thing, nice control. No, no swinging up and down, okay? No point in doing this, all right? I'm gonna slow it down, get the burn, okay? Slowly up, squeeze. Slowly, slowly centrics down. Up, shh, breathe out, slow down. My arms are already shaking, okay? Really feeling it. Do a few more. Abs are on fire, okay? Turn around, finish off the plank, okay? Third last exercise, push through. Okay, you gonna make sure Get your body nice and tight, okay? What you don't want is you don't want to be dropping your hips down low like this, all right? That's not gonna do anything. That's just gonna be working your shoulders and your back from holding the weight. What you want to do is make sure you raise your hips up. And also, if you can actually round your pelvis, tilt it downwards, and actually contract your abs, all right? Breathe the air out and keep that whole that contraction, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm raising my bum up and then I'm tilting my pelvis down forward a little bit, getting a really tight contraction of my abs. Now that you have that isometric hold there, okay? They're really firing right now. They're really working hard, okay? So I'm gonna hold this, try and hold it for about 20, 30 seconds, okay? As you keep going on, you can hold it on for longer. Keep holding, keep going, enjoy the burn. And then down, okay? Same thing, all right? Short breaks, smash it out, all right? But one round of that, my abs are actually on fire already. So to smash it out, you want to get some really thick abs going, all right? Do it every day. Build up to it, okay? Because you might get really sore after the first day, so maybe every second day, but eventually, build it up to doing it every single day, all right? Guarantee you're gonna start getting some abs popping out. You're gonna start seeing them pop out more. You're gonna feel a lot more, okay? Remember, focus on the contractions. Don't worry about the number. Focus on the squeezing, feel the reps, get the burn, and get them coming out. All right, guys?